Thanks, guys. Yeah. What is up, guys? So we are going to be talking about our first year of marriage. Um, we haven't really planned any of this. Haven't even really talked about it. We are just going to share the pros, the good things, the bad things, the hard things, any like stories that we have that come to our heads. Just kind of recapping um, a year of marriage. Start it all over. No, no, no. End it's, it. it's good. It's good. Don't no, care. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Seriously. I think the most surprising thing about marriage is like, because I've been in relationships before, but marriage is like, you're literally tied to another person. So like, you always, it's like a priority now. So like, you don't get to like, when I think about myself, I have to almost think about, I have to think about Jen too. So like, when I go get food, like I think about like, oh, she hungry. Oh. And it's been bad. Like I was just like, oh, I forget, I forget about that. Or if like, I want to go do something, like, I got to remember, like, oh, I got to, like... That's I basically what I said. Well, nobody knows that because we had to cut that part out. Okay, well, that's basically what I said. I said, like... We can have the same answer. Okay, well, like, when you're married, like, and you have to factor in somebody else. So, like, I think when you're single, like, you can, like, go on, like, girls' trips and, like, do things with your friends all the time. Or, like, all my friends are single, so they're like, oh, do you want to, like, go do this and go to the gym and then, like, go on a hike? And it's like, yeah, but it's my day off and I also want to see you. So I feel like that's like a huge thing to factor in. It's like you literally have another part to you and that I you think, have to like. I think it's art also harder to kind of make friends too, because like if you're like the married dude, like no guys want to hang out with just the married guy. Like they want to talk about girls or like do stuff like that. So like. Not if you're surrounding yourself with the right guy. So like I don't get to hang out with the boys very often. Not because like she doesn't let me. It's just like that's just how I it is, which is cool. Boys. So uh, I think that's like one of the most surprising things about marriage. Mm -hmm think about like our first year of marriage mm -hmm. what's a situation or circumstance it can be good or bad or funny like anything just like a specific time that sticks out to you um i think it's honestly I, mine's not funny so i'm gonna be lame but i think just like moving down to charlotte and trying to make friends and jen started a new job like there's a little emotional roller coaster like i got pretty basically let go of two my first two jobs down here John can't put a standard job. We weren't making very many friends. So I think that like going through that, like in our marriage has made our marriage stronger and our relationship stronger. Mm -hmm. So like that was, I th that's just one of the distinct memories. I just remember us laying in bed one day at our, our old apartment and like it was gloomy outside and like <laughs> you were just like crying. And I had, literally I was like, and I was like, the hell did I get myself signed up for? I got like I did like I don't know how to handle all this, you know. And but just kind of have to kept that hope of like things were gonna get better, and they did. They've gotten way better. So um, that was like a really distinct. That was like moment. our trying and like growth period, and the growing pains were yeah hard. And it was hard because like it was our first year of marriage, so like you know the devil was attacking us the first year. So um, but they had we get, we ended up through it, and it's a lot better now. All right, what about your stories? Um. Funny story, the one that sticks out to me the most is when you locked me out of our house. Oh, yeah. So I got home at like 2 a.m. And Ashton had, was asleep. And if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably remember me posting about this on my stories. But he had fallen asleep and he had locked the door, which is fine. Like I had a key, but he had deadbolted the door. So it's 2 in the morning. I'm outside trying to get in the house. And I have like the door like cracked, but the deadbolt chain is like keeping it shut still. <laughs> so I like can get my like... I like start yelling like through the little crack I have and I told our Amazon Alexa um, to yell wake up Ashton as loud as she could. So you literally like, <laughs> she's like wake up Ashton, wake up Ashton, shouting it. He didn't wake up for like an hour, and didn't even wake up in general. Finally, this, our Amazon Alexa is like blasting music, like I've called him 500 times, I've pounded on the door, like I've probably woken up our entire complex. Finally I'm just like screw it and I kick in the door. Yeah. And, and bust the chain off the wall. Yeah. yeah. And then he literally comes out of the room, half asleep. As soon as I get in, he's like, I heard you set your bag <laughs> down. I was like, are you kidding? He heard me set my bag down, but didn't up, hear anything yeah, else. I woke up right after she busted the door down, because I was like... I, I heard you set your bag down and come yeah, in. And I was yeah. like, that's... And I, was, I, I thought I was being sweet by like waking up and greeting her at oh. the door. And she was so mad at me, and I had no clue why. But I went back to bed, and everything was good. That's my memory. Okay. So far, the bad slash difficult things of marriage. So it's just like two different personalities, different expectations, different habits. Like that's a huge thing is different habits. 
um, just like learning how each other works and also like biting, like throwing your pride out the door kind of thing. So like if you're just like not having a great day, like and if I'm not having a great day, like it just, you just can't, you both can't have bad days. Like you have to suck it up and be. pick your battles. Yeah. And there are little things that just like don't matter that your pride will tell you does matter, but it really doesn't. So it's just kind of like shutting down your pride, losing your pride to make your marriage just better and like to love your spouse better. It's just mm. like, and just learning like your habits and accepting them and loving you for who you are despite those things that like is different from who I am. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. I think that's, that's the hardest thing of marriage and the most difficult thing. It's just communicating with each other because you, you're two different beings and, you know, me and Jenna, we have similarities, but we have a lot that are, you know, not alike. Um, so she wants to buy everything for this house and spend all this money for the house. I really and I can control. And I can, shh, this is my time talking. It's like that, right there. That's true. But, um, and like for me, I could care less. Like I didn't grow up with a house like that. So like, I don't care how much money we spent on the house. Like I just don't want to spend, I don't want to spend any money. Um, so those things don't matter to me. So, um, I think expectations are always like a hard thing to you. You expect somebody. So like she expects me to have the dishes out of the rack at night and I didn't know that was the expectation so she would come home frustrated because I didn't do that and I was like I didn't know that was expected of me and like that's one thing that it's like it's always gonna be hard for me to do and I'll forget so and that's with the expectations you kind of like you either like one person either like ex like meets that expectation or you have to meet somewhere in the middle um, and be like hey listen like I'm just, I don't I don't have the ability to do that but I'll try my best or something like that you know that's a small one, but there's plenty of them. So I think that's the most difficult thing for sure. Yeah, I agree with that. But mm. yeah, and I think also that's like the difference in a man and a woman when it comes to a home. Like that's why like, well, that's like women everything. like are always, on, like I've well, never met a man who's like, oh, I want to decorate this place. Like it's always a woman's job. Yeah. So that's why. Um, um, what are the good things about marriage? Like what are like, even if you can be like super specific, like great memories or like a great, I mean, the good thing, about, I mean, it's the reason to, I think, like, get married and, first of all, just having Jenna around is, like, amazing. Like, it's it's your, your team. Like, it's literally, like, a team. So, like, if I'm working all day, I can text her real quick and be like, hey, babe, can you, like, can you make me lunch real quick right. so I can run home and eat? Or can you do this for me real quick? Like, that's somebody that has your back and your team with that person. Um, I think that is, like, the number one the old thing about marriage is that somebody to do life with. Um, our impact is doubled by um, working together. So, I mean, even we run a nutrition consulting and personal training business together and um, we're able to work and do uh, double team on that and be able to provide tons of value. We run our fitness page together. So um, we're able to just do kind of like divide and conquer yeah. um, and things that sh I'm awful at, like organizing and um, like Maybe. taking action and cleaning and stuff like that. I don't have to worry about that. I can just double down on my strengths and really work faster and more efficient. Work out with, like, we you just do. You got a beautiful girl to look at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's part of the benefit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, So there's plenty of benefits with that. So you have somebody to yeah, cuddle okay. with at night, and okay, I, I, won't, I won't go past that. But, um, yeah, there's tons of benefits with that. Yeah, I agree. Like, I like what you said. Um, like, you get to double down on your strengths, and you just want you to pick up your weaknesses. And that's where, like, I feel like, like, God has completely blessed us in our marriage is, like, he literally, like, gave me a partner who's, like, good at the things that I'm not good at, and I'm good at the things that you're not good at. Like dancing. Okay, cool. I wasn't oh, going to go there. <laughs> I'm bad. I, yeah, not too bad. You're getting better. Um, but it's true, like, you compliment, you compliment, like, we compliment each other very well. Like, so, you're, he's way more creative than me, like, when it comes to, like, content creation or, like, things like that, like you're creative, whereas I'm more of the action taker, so like I get to double down on taking action and you get to double down on creating. Um, I'm super like, I don't know if the word Task oriented. Yeah, I'm like yeah, task oriented, but I'm, but I'm also like stable, I guess. I don't know what word to use. Like you're like very like risky more. Whereas yeah. like I like, but it works good together because like Ashton's more risky, like do it, jump for it. Like the worst you can do is fail and like you learn from it. And I'm like, ah, oh, like I want to like weigh out like to an extent, like I'll still take that jump. Mm -hmm. But like I'm also like very like, let's think about the good, let's think about the bad, like let's really think this through before we pull the trigger. And he's just like, let's just pull the trigger. Um, so I feel like we, you get like another teammate to like compliment you well and 
you also get like somebody to just help you grow like in every way like and whether that be like for us like a huge thing is like spiritual growth um but whether that even be like in your business and like your friendship your relationships like you get somebody who lives a life so close to you that they know you so well that when you start to like slip off or like like for instance like my job puts a ton of pressure on me and it causes me to be somebody who I'm not like proud of when I get off of my long shifts and I'm just like exhausted and sick of people and I have somebody to call me out and be like hey every like a lot of times when you're getting off work like you're not who you want to be and like hence why I quit my job because Ashton lives so close to me he sees that trend in me and like gets to call me out and push me to do something that I was very scared to do, which was just to quit my job on a whim, and here we are. Name one thing that annoys you that I do, mm. and then only one, you know, yeah. one, and then one thing that you love that I do. So let's start with the annoying so I can like, you know, when you yeah. back. So the annoying thing is that Ashton is like very moody. Like you're what so are moody. You talking? Oh my gosh. So moody, like if, <laughs> If he's hungry, like, dude, run away. Like, just run away. Yeah, but nobody sees that but you. Because, no. like, I, I get to, I can, no, because I'm, like, able to, like. Well, it's not what annoys other people. It's what annoys me. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, my clients or nobody will see okay, that. Okay, well, you he's, like, that. very, no, other people see it. He, a little bit. A little bit. Listen, he's just, like, very, like, I don't want to say, like, emotional, but, like, you're just, like, I don't know. You can be moody. Like, if he's hungry, like, stay out of his way. Or, like, if he's just tired, like, I just can tell, like, I can read it on his face, and I'll ask him a question. I'll be like, are you grumpy? And he freaks out. I hate that. I'm not even grumpy, but it makes freaks. me mad. But you are. Like, before I ask you, like, I'm only asking because I can pick it up. Like, that you're tired. Yeah, but hungry. I already know I'm grumpy, so, like, you just don't ask But, but when I ask you, I just want you to be like, you know what, I'm self-aware, I am a little bit grumpy. Yeah. But he's like, you know what, no, but now that you <laughs> ask me, I am. Okay. And I'm just right. like, okay. <laughs> I'm going to, like, leave okay. you alone. So that's my annoying thing, is just that you are a little bit swinging on your emotions and you get a little bit moody if you're tired or hungry or like you feel overwhelmed or you're just like in a bad mood. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like most of the time you're great. Like you're like 99% of the time oh, here. Oh, but. So then the one time you're like, like the one day a week when you get moody, I just like need to just stay away. Mm -hmm. But I know that and that's where like I'm just like, um, and then things that I love about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the good stuff. <laughs> um, um, you're very, like, you're very ambitious and you have a lot of, like, confidence in believing in yourself. So, like, if you get a new idea for a business or if you, even just, like, when it comes to, like, taking risks in your business, like, you've came so far in the last year, I just feel like you're very, like, confident and your consistency and your is persistency a word? Yeah, uh, persistence. Your consistency and persistence. Yeah. Like, just keep on trying and going and, like, knowing that you will get a breakthrough when, like, the time comes. You're very persistent in those things, and I really respect that about you. Um, whereas, like, me, I feel like I'm just, like, I want to, like, build Rome in a day. Mm -hmm. That's where, like, my type A gets me. Mm -hmm. um, so you help, like, balance me out in that. Um, and you're just a great husband. You really are. I love oh, you. Thanks. I'm yeah. Mean, honey. That's good. You're very, you're, and we get, like, people tell me all the time, like, Ashton's just, like, great like you are. Like, you're so great when it comes to, like, we lead, like, a small group, and I work some Sundays, and he does a great job at leading it when I'm not here, and even when I am here. Um, and you're just a great, like, example, literally, like, a biblical example of, like, what it means to be, like, a good husband who, like, spiritually leads his wife. The biggest thing annoys me, like... I hate saying the word annoys. I know, because it's just like negative. I know. The biggest thing that just What's like... What's better way to The do biggest that? thing that I wish you could work on. Yeah, the biggest area I need to improve. The biggest area that you could improve on is like... And it's your confidence. Mm -hmm. um, just because like you are so wavering in your confidence. Like you, you could be more consistent and she could get so much more done, but she doesn't have the confidence. Like if she doesn't see the result, like she said, in like one or two weeks... She's ready to throw everything out and just try to do something else, you know? Yeah. Um, she, it's almost the opposite of me, like, 
like the consistency and the persistence isn't there sometimes because it's like she thinks she has to go in some other direction. She's a very hard worker, um, but she just doesn't have the confidence like in herself, first of all. And I think that leads to a lot of just like, and I think that's any girl, but like, you know, uh, body image issues and yeah. leads to like, you know, just not confident in who she is and what she does. Um, but that also leads to like, even like you quit your job, you've hated that job. I've told you 50 times to quit it and you wouldn't because you don't have confidence that it's going to be okay, you know? Yeah, that's where and I'm like, well, it's like, I'll wait till I have something else lined up. And it's like, uh, she wants to have something else lined up. But like sometimes like you need to like, in order to find that next job, you need to uh, like take the, take the risk and you have to have confidence in yourself that no matter what you'll do, you do an amazing job in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's the only thing you need to work on is just, just more confidence, you know? Um, things I love about you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's plentiful. It's, it's uh, like, I love coming home and there's like food cooked and she cooks things that like, I don't, I'm too lazy to cook, you know, like vegetables and stuff like that. She's always caring for me. She literally always cares for me like so much better I than anybody else has. Like, and it cares about what food I put in my body that cares that I go to sleep. You can tell the way to his heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you love about your wife? Well, you know, she cooks. <laughs> Well, she yeah. cares about the food I put in my body. Well, those are little things. It's his, like his heart and his stomach are directly. Yeah, so like that, you clean that. You keep our house so clean. You you ma you decorated it. Freak. You made it. You made it a home. Like this is something that I never thought I would have, and she just created such a good home, like such a good environment. Um, you're super chill, like you are. Like she lets me go. Like I am the crazy. Like I need to go talk to everybody. I need to go. Mm -hmm go here, experience this, connect, connect, connect. And she just lets me do my thing, you know, and just trust, just so much trust in me. Um, so I love that about you. I love that you um, are always, she's, she gasses me up, she's, she believes in me. Um, there's sometimes she's doubted me, but she still is stuck with me through all the times. Um, yeah, so it's, I mean, like, but she chose to like, not be like, oh, you should just go get a regular job, which there was some points, but. That you were like that, but like she was just like, hey, listen, like, I, I believe that it's gonna get better, you know. So, um, she loves Jesus, which is amazing, and she's just honestly like, and everybody tells me the same thing is, just, you know, Jen, like, she's awesome, she's so awesome, and it's too bad she works too much, so they don't get to see her a ton, but yeah, she's aw she's super awesome, she's like super, she's super chill, you know. So, everybody loves you, and I like adore you, I really do. So, um, I think that's a that's a huge thing, it's just like. You're just, you're just good. Like she's just good at everything. She really is. Um, besides dancing and sports, but everything else. You do I'm that. athletic. I just can't do anything with a ball. Your biggest piece of advice to somebody that's looking to get married or um, is a newlywed. Okay, so um, I think my biggest piece of advice would be just like accepting your guys' differences. So like, even though you love that person, you married them. Not everything's gonna be perfect. Not everything's gonna like change and fall together. So I think it's just like looking at your spouse instead of being like, oh, he doesn't do A, B, C, D. Um, or like, I wish he did A, B, C, D. Being like, wow, how great that he does these other things. Or how great that he's ambitious and outgoing even though he's, I don't know. It's just like highlighting the good things that you love about them. Mm -hmm. And changing that mindset from what they're not to what they are. Yeah, I think expectations is huge. Especially like guys, like a lot of them expect their wives to cook clean, do all these things for them. And you have to have the expectations that's like, or if you're waiting for her at night in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's tired. And you're like, mm, you have to have the expectation of like, hey, I got to think of her in mind too. So, um, and, communicating and communicate those. those things, you know. Um, and also communicating, I think communicating is just giant. So, I mean, communication and expectations, they go hand to hand. Mm -hmm. So as guys, like, you got to communicate things. I know we're not good talkers most of the time. You can't just sit there and pout. You have to sit there and be like, hey, listen, like, I'm, I'm kind of upset that this happened, you know, um, but I don't know if that's you or me or et cetera, and talk about things, talk about it. So that's a number one thing, I think, just talk about it. So talk about expectations, you, you know, your life's relationship, et cetera. So um, thank you guys for watching, we appreciate it. So we have a bunch of new videos coming for you. We, have, we took a long break from YouTube just because I'm building my business, you know, we were buying this house, but now we are back making some great content for y'all. Comment below if there's anything that you want us to talk about or anything, what you want to any see. ideas. Mm -hmm. So go follow us on Instagram, follow our personal pages, or you can find the My Muscle Hustle Instagram page right on the screen somewhere like right here.
here, down here, somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, follow us if you want to see more of our lives. Like, I don't know. Like, what do you, how do you plug that? Know. If you want to see more of our stuff, I don't <laughs> I know. See more of me. Yeah, if you want to see more of me and her, like, then follow All right, us. bye. But yeah, that's it. See ya. Bye.